This is a street food market I discovered on a recent trip to Bangkok. It's across Ratchita Pisek Road from Klong Toi Market, which is the biggest food market in Bangkok. This little market had lots of authentic Thai street food and also lots of little restaurants that were set up. Lady there was selling steamed peanuts and lots of fruit. There's a little Thai coffee shop there. Shop had different curries. Fried fish here. Fried duck. There was lots of authentic Thai food available here and my wife and I decided to come here for lunch. Pork soup. Fried pork bits there. Some little restaurant selling some type of Thai soup. Guy was putting that stuff into a bag for a takeaway. Steamed Thai food. Not sure what those were, I think breadsticks there. The ingredients there for a Thai rice curry, fried chicken, boiled chicken and fried chicken there for Kalman Gai, which is a popular Thai chicken and rice dish. There are also shops selling all sorts of other things. I think there are medications there. And amongst other things, handbags and purses. As I mentioned before, this market's really easy to find. It's straight across the road from Kong Toi Market. It is a great place to grab a bite to eat if you want to try some real Thai food. This lady here was making a Thai dessert using sticky rice. She added so she puts the sticky rice on a banana leaf, adds a sauce, and then adds a slice of like a sweet Thai pudding, wraps the banana leaf and then seals it with a toothpick. These types of Thai sweets are very tasty and really popular. I think that was a steamed Thai custard type thing. She also had some nuts available, peanuts, and also fried broad beans. These people were selling all sorts of banana sweets. This lady was mixing up some sort of Thai sauce. You also find lots of curries available. You can get these either as takeaways or to sit down and eat there orange curry there, I think that one's probably a mussel curry and then musselman curry here. This one's actually a sweet Thai dish which is made with eggs and pork and star anise. Thai soup there and more curries. Lots of different fried fish. More curries here. There's a pretty good variety of food available at this market. Fried pork at the front. Fried fish. This guy was selling some tasty looking fried chicken. She was cooking fresh. Shop had some fried vegetable dishes. I think there was tofu on the left. And some sort of fried vegetable balls. These look really tasty, so I decided to grab some. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 
found. Okay. I was only planning on getting two, going. but the lady said there were three for 20 baht, so I grabbed three of them. So she then sliced them. Put them into a plastic bag. Then asked me if I wanted sauce. It's like a Thai sweet chilli sauce. And after that she topped it with some chopped peanuts. So steamed vegetables there in the bags. Type of dried fish. I'm not sure exactly what that was. I think some type of dried vegetables. There's also a little bit of fresh fruit and veg available at this market. The big market across the road has a huge range of fresh produce. There are also some different types of pastries and cakes there. Tasty looking cakes here. Those prices were per slice. Some packet goods. Pickled vegetables by the look and fried fish. Or packet goods. There's fried pork skin back there. And this stuff which I really like, which is like a type of pork jerky. One that I like is peppercorns on the outside. It's kind of sweet and very tasty. Hey, you carry. These types of tools seem very popular in this area where the people had their money hanging in buckets from the ceiling. This little boy looked about the same age as my son. Had a little bit of communication going on there. And <laughs> bye bye. More dried pork, and I think some dried fish products there. Dried fish ready to go. Lots more Thai soups and curries and curry paste at the back. More fried fish. Potatoes and vegetables on the left. Type of vegetable cakes, barbecued catfish. Then my wife spotted something that she wanted, which is a Thai noodle dish, kanom gin. Kanom gin is a noodle dish which is topped with like a curry sauce. My wife said this curry sauce isn't available in the area where we live, but it's widely eaten in the north where she comes from. She grabbed a plate of that and I decided to follow her lead. The lady puts the noodles in a little bowl. And then she tops it with the curry topping of your choice. On the tables where you eat, there's a wide range of different vegetables and salads that you can top your canon gin with after that. Wife's adding shredded cabbage there and some bean sprouts. This is a little local food area, like street food market, across the road from Bong Billy Market in Bangkok. Saw this place this morning and thought we'd come back for lunch here. So we've got a, a type of canom jink, which is called Nam Ya Gati, which is like a coconut curry and it's got some sort of fish balls there. Canon gin noodles, canon gin restaurants, you always find a plate of vegetables that you can add to your canon gin. So I usually add them and, and just mix them through. And 
Amanda quite likes the noodles. She's not so keen on the spicy curry though. So I add pretty much a bit of everything. This is basil that I'm adding there now. There are different ways of eating it. You need it on the side. And there's also some cabbage. And some pickled vegetables as well. Mix it through and dig in. It's pretty spicy. They're very, very tasty. It's a bit sweet, a little bit salty. They're quite spicy. It's a good idea not to eat this wearing a white shirt as well. No matter how careful you are with Canon Gin, you always seem to spray it on yourself. Tasty. So I've also got some some other uh, fried vegetable things before. I'm not sure exactly what you call them, like a, a taro cake and vegetable cakes. And also some of this dried pork, which I've had a couple of times before. The best one I've discovered was in the Consul Tamara. It was quite quite dark. A lot darker than this, um, but really nice. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. Quite sweet, kind of like a pork jerky. Mm. It's also got some peppercorns on it. It's got a bit of a pepper and smoky flavour as well. added with it is really yummy. She also put some, some chopped peanuts on there as well. This one's a type of vegetable, fried vegetable cake. It's got more flavour than the tofu. Again, the, the sauce is the main flavour. Quite sweet. A little bit, so a little bit salty. Very slightly spicy, but really yummy. So once we finish here, we're going to go for a bit of a graze and see what else we can find. So as I said, I discovered this market earlier on today when I was across the road at Kong Tali Market, which was really impressive for, for fresh food. I also had some street food there. But, uh, this place is much bigger for, for prepared food. It's got a lot of variety here. And the food that we've had so far has all been really tasty and delicious. After eating, it was time for our farewells. Bye bye, young deal. The owner of the shop seemed pretty impressed with our son, Ananda. Ananda seemed to quite like him as well. So after lunch we went for a walk to explore a bit more of this little market. Put us flower arrangements there. These ones were very colourful. I haven't seen them like that before. That's beetle nut, which is chewed throughout Southeast Asia, generally by older people. More flower arrangements. pastries on the left, 
shop, he was selling lots of different types of Thai desserts. There's hundreds of different types of Thai desserts and sweets and they are very popular. <laughs> always find shops like this at markets. Another dessert shop. These are Thai jellies. You also find clothes there, heaps of shoe shops. Clothes and sunglasses. Sarongs, stationery. Shop was selling all sorts of stuff to take to temples. This one was selling plastic goods. And I think like a discount variety store there. There's also a tailor doing clothing modifications. This guy's by the look we're doing the dishes for one of the restaurants. There's also an area where there were quite a few vendors selling tight lottery tickets. Old roasted chickens. They look pretty tasty. As I mentioned, this market is right across the road from Kong Toy Market. If you want to know more about this market, you can click the link here. It is Bangkok's biggest food market. It's a great place to explore if you want to see some real Thai culture and Thai life. It's a very busy place in the morning and it also has quite a range of different Thai street food. Lady here was steaming different foods. She had these little balls which are quite popular at breakfast time and also dim sum which is also a very popular Thai breakfast. There's all sorts of barbecued goods. This place had everything from barbecued fish to barbecued pigtails. Well, they're barbecuing chicken and catfish. So it's a barbecue bananas, barbecued rice wrapped in banana leaves. So it's also fried bananas. Takeaway dishes ready to go. At yeah, this market there's also quite a few different restaurants. Barbecued stick food and sausages. Barbecued squid and salted fish. This lady was preparing a traditional type of dried pork. She also had lots of Thai salads and soups available. And there's also plenty of Thai desserts and sweets. It's a type of Thai pancake called Kanam Chop. This guy was mixing a type of Thai rice salad. More steamed foods. Everything from barbecued corn and bananas and sweet potato at this shop. To barbecued eggs. Thai fruit juices which come in bags as well as bottles. As I said this market is a great place if you want to see real Thai life in the morning. Best time to get there is probably between about 6 and 8. It's a very interesting place and it is huge. Back to the market across the road. As we were leaving, I discovered this shop, which was selling some of my favorite types of Thai sausages. Really love Thai sausages. They're very, very tasty, and I highly recommend them if you come to Thailand. These guys look particularly good, so I tried all the different types that he had. The two on the left are northeastern Thai sausages. One of them was sour pork, which is made with fermented pork. The next ones were pork and rice sausage. 
The ones on the right are a sausage from Chiang Mai in the northwest of Thailand. Good sight work. Generally, when you buy barbecued sausages like this in Thailand, they also come with some sliced cabbage, some sliced ginger, and some whole green chilies. Not so keen on the chilies, but I do like the ginger. So that was 35 baht for all of that. So that's a quick look at a street food market in Bangkok. Check out my channel for lots more Thai street food videos. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.